Okay, so we're going to look at custom templates within Workflow Max now. So custom templates are used for things like invoicing, uh, quotes, purchase orders, and similar. So from business and then settings, there's a custom templates option down the bottom left, and that will take you through to here. So if you've got current templates in the system, then you'll see them listed as we do here. Otherwise, there are sample templates that you can use as well. So here, if I go to my invoice template, so if I go invoice full, and just here, I'll download this template to have a look at it and change it. So if I open this up, you'll see that it's a fairly standard Word template. Um, if I just quickly go here, put the table lines on, then you can see obviously there's tags here or merge fields as they're called, which bring this information in. Just extend that out a little bit. Um, so changing any basic information within the template um, in terms of layout is very simple. So um, I can, for example, drop these down a few lines. Um, if I wanted to, for example, pump this up, I can make it bigger. I can move things around, change fonts, and so on. That's all very, very easy. Now these tags, merge tags, come in from Workflow Max. So if you go to the help file, which is here and then help center and search for a page called merge field reference or merge field. And you'll find all of these merge fields here. So these are every single field that you can put within a document. And you'll see from the headers what documents that they can go on. So as an example, um, we've got here, where's one of these? So client name, for example. So you'll see that that's here, just here. So in there, when we send this out to Bob the Builder, then Bob the Builder is going to go here, followed by the billing address, invoice description, job name, job number, and so on. So if you want to get rid of any, any information, so I said we want to get rid of that field, we can get rid of that field. And then let's say, for example, client account manager we want to put in. So if I look down here, I can find I've got client account manager name or email address or phone number. If you're not sure whether a field is in here, I'd recommend uh, if you do Control and F in most web browsers, you get a little find option. So say you wanted to find account manager, you can search for account and you'll see it will find all these account sections and then it will find all the fields here. So I'll just copy that entire field. So we need that entire field with capitals, with lowercase, with spacing exactly the same, and yes. So if I go client account manager name, so here is where I want to put the merge field. So based on uh, Windows Word, if I go insert, just here there's a quick parts option, and then you can insert a field. Now, as I mentioned before, we want this to be a merge field. And the field name, we just do exactly as it is in the Word document. So uh, here, client account manager name. Client account manager name, OK. And you'll see that puts it in exactly the same format as previous. And if it's gone right, you'll see here that when you click on it, then it will highlight everything else as well. On <coughs> Microsoft Word, you can also press Alt and F9, which will then give you every full merge code and every bit of information, but that can get quite confusing for some people, so I'll pop that back to the moment. So here we've replaced uh, client order number with client account manager, and we've increased the due date fonts. So I'll save that back, and then back in my settings and where I'm in editing this custom template. So I downloaded the template from here. I'll go choose the file, and just upload it into Workflow Max. Now, quite often you may get a page there that says um, that it hasn't uploaded fully or similar. I, it is a known little bug with Workflow Max, but it normally works if you check the invoice. So if I now go and find an invoice, so I'll just go in and look at one of our current ones, and I'll go and look here at John Studio. I'm just quickly going to check John's studio just to see if they've got a client account manager because that's what we want to come through on the invoice in the new field that we've created. So if I go in here, uh, they've got a partner but not a manager. So I'll just edit this and just give them a manager just so we can prove that this field works. So um, I'll put both of these on here. So we'll again and 
Luke. Save that back. So now with that saved, in theory, and I may have to refresh this invoice, but I'll give it a go. If I go print, so here you can pick from your templates, the system default, or the custom templates, and obviously invoice full is the one we've put in. When you've picked and printed a template, that will become the default for future ones as well. So if I go print, perfect. Then we can see here, so client account manager has changed, and we've obviously got the name come through here. Due date's all inflated, and you can see those changes have been made. So hopefully that all makes sense. The only slight difference to the procedure if you're working on a Mac is that the option isn't under insert and then quick parts. I think from memory it's under data and then quick parts. But if you Google how to add merge field in Mac Word, you'll find the information as well. Thanks.